Hi everyone and welcome back. Now the particle e is a very common particle in Korean and today we're going to look at how we use this particle in three different ways. First it's used to mean to when we talk about a noun being a particular destination of the verb's movement. Here's an example sentence. 민수는 극장에 갔어요. 민수 went to the cinema. 민수는 극장에 갔어요. In this sentence, e is attached to the noun 극장, which means the cinema, and it's used to describe the place Minzu went to. So we can use e to talk about the destination of someone's movement. Here are a few more example sentences. 수지는 식당에 왔어요. Susie came to the restaurant. 수지는 식당에 왔어요. 저는 학교에 돌아갔어요. I returned to the school. 저는 학교에 돌아갔어요. 미나는 한국에 도착했어요. 미나 arrived in Korea. 미나는 한국에 도착했어요. So in each sentence, e is used to describe the destination of the verb's movement. And these verbs are 오다, to come, 돌아가다, to return, and 도착하다, to arrive. Now, the second use of e is with time expressions. And when we use e with time expressions, they're similar to the prepositions in, on, and at in English. Here are a few example sentences. 저는 1월에 태어났어요. I was born in January. 저는 1월에 태어났어요. 우리 월요일에 만나요. Let's meet on Monday. 우리 월요일에 만나요. 수업은 2시에 시작해요. The lesson starts at 2 o'clock. 수업은 2시에 시작해요. 저는 2006년에 졸업했어요. I graduated in 2006. 저는 2006년에 졸업했어요. So in each sentence, we use e with various time expressions. And these are months, days of the week, specific time, and also year. And we can also use e with specific days, such as Christmas Day, seasons, and also dates. Okay, so the final use of e is to talk about the location of something. And this use of e is also similar to the English prepositions in, on, and at. Now, when we use e to talk about the location of something, it's commonly used with the verbs itta and opta to say that something is there or something is not there. Itta is another form of the verb to be in Korean, and its negative form is opta. Let's take a look at few example sentences. 가방이 제 방에 없어요. My bag is not in my room. 가방이 제 방에 없어요. 수지는 집에 있어요. Susie is at home. 수지는 집에 있어요. 저는 2층에 있어요. I'm on the second floor. 저는 2층에 있어요. So in each of these sentences, we use e with different nouns to mean in, at, and on. And while in English, it's important to differentiate the use of these prepositions, in Korean, we simply use e. And the conceptual meaning of in, at, and on is understood through the context. Now, one other important point to note is that in English, we have different prepositions to specify the location of things. And these include next to, in front of, behind, and so on. However, in Korean, to form these prepositions, we add nouns that mean next to, in front of, and behind to e. So next to is 옆에, in front of is 앞에, and behind is 뒤에. And other prepositions that follow this pattern include under, 밑에, above, 위에, between, 사이에, inside, 안에, and outside, 밖에. Here are a few example sentences that use these words. 제 차는 집 앞에 있어요. My car is in front of the house. 제 차는 집 앞에 있어요. 우체국은 식당이랑 도서관 사이에 있어요. The post office is between the restaurant and the library. 우체국은 식당이랑 도서관 사이에 있어요. 책이 가방 옆에 있어요. The book is next to the bag. 책이 가방 옆에 있어요. 
So in these sentences, we use the words 앞에, 사이에, and 옆에 to specify where something is. And unlike the particle 에, these words are separated with the nouns they use with. So do keep that in mind. Okay, so today we learn three different uses of the particle 에. It's used to talk about the destination of a verb, it's used to talk about time and date, and it's also used to talk about the location of something. That's it for today, and I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.